Hello and welcome. Um, got ourselves a nice little treat here today. We got the Golden Sun MSU pack. One of my favorites, uh, I think. Other than F Metroid Fusion, um, Golden Sun and the Lost Age are probably my favorite GBA games. Um, the music is just so good. Story is good. Um, <clears throat> you know, not perfect, but... Uh, I'm also using a different sprite today. Um, I'm going to guess that the uh, file name here is going to give it away. I'm playing a Squall, so... Uh, just open today, no key sanity. Um, so, all of the keys will... And, uh, compass and maps will be found in the respective dungeons. We'll be able to see uh, crystals and pendants right off the get-go. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, get this thing started. In uh, I have to do this weird because of the way the emulator works. Three, two, one, go. Uh, go. Yeah, unlike my GBA emulator, uh, this one only works if you click into the window, so that's why I can't, like, start the timer and also the game at the same time. See L crystals. Oh, whoops. And desert's a good crystal. Okay, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, I will absolutely take that. And that, good lordy. Jet seat incoming, question mark? The only thing that I wish they would have done differently for this pack, because I mean they do really well with like dungeon music especially, um, is that the Dark Overworld music should be the map music from uh, Lost Age rather than 
the uh, second half of Lost, like from the first, like, two thirds of Lost Age instead of the last third. Um, and they should save the last third for when you have all the crystals. Um, kind of like how the Metroid Prime um, music pack switched. God dang, what is this seed? Other than front loaded. Um, where it changed from like the one music to the to Samus' theme. Um, I think this should have done that uh, with the Dark World music, but I mean that's my only complaint about the music pack. Um, and it's it's a minor one, to be honest. Otherwise, I think they did a really good job in, um, you know, selecting which, you know, which track goes where. Like, um, they did Magma Rock for Turtle Rock, Tundaria Tower for Ice Palace, Aqua Rock for Swamp. Um... Jupiter Lighthouse for uh, Hera, so. Very good selection of music. Uh, I really hope y'all enjoy it. What in the world is this seed? Huh. I just realized. Seed. Squall. Huh. 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 Uh, I'll, I'll see myself out. As soon as I grab this item. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, part of the reason I didn't use the Final Fantasy VIII MSU pack with... The Squall Sprite is... There are some questionable choices of music for dungeons. Um, for example, the S-Star music is used for Swamp Palace, which doesn't really match. Because um, I have it set... You can have it set to where you have... You know, Light World dungeon music for Pendants, Dark World dungeon music for Crystals, or you can have... Um, Packs with ex like extended music support, um, where each dungeon has its specific music, regardless of whether it's a crystal or a pendant. Um, okay. The Final Fantasy IV music pack, which ow, I was testing out last night, um, has the former. So all of the light world dungeons are uh, one, or all. So all the pendant dungeons are one set of music, and then all the crystal dungeons are another set of music. Let's try that again, because I can hook through that and cheese it, so I don't have to. God dang it! I'll try it one more time, just for practice. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And then, like, this one. But, yeah, the Final Fantasy VIII pack has some questionable music choices for dungeons. So, not necessarily bad choices, just... Like I said, the S-Star music for Swamp Palace, like, that doesn't quite make sense, but whatever. Um... This, I believe, does that very well, though, where the music for each dungeon is chosen pretty much perfectly.
Once I get a sword, just because the, um, there's like one, uh, boss battle music from Golden Sun and then also from, um, one of the optional super bosses in the Lost Stage that is relatively well known. It's the, uh, Saturos, um, music. I'm honestly tempted to just go and do Aghanim 1 just for that music alone because it is, is like a very iconic boss theme. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how, uh, how long it takes me to get a sword because while I don't need a sword to actually fight Aghanim, I do need a... I do need a sword to cut the curtain behind him, um, provided that it's not a swordless seed, which this isn't. Ooh. Uh, let's do this. Let's do back of escape. Also, I really wish we had the Lemuria music for longer than that, because. It's one of my favorite areas. Ugh, I just, I love this game soundtrack so much. Check Eastern. I'll also check what the uh, lake item is. I could have fake flippered earlier, but... Oh, nice vanilla heart piece. I didn't think it would be worth it because I didn't have the money for Zora. Ice is the green pendant. I will say the one, um, like the biggest uh, MSU or the bi biggest music choice for a dungeon in the Final Fantasy VIII pack that I 100% agree with is the uh, the Great Salt Lake used for Ice Palace. That is probably. If not the best, in my opinion, on the entire Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack, it's really close. At least for an area. Like, music, like battle music-wise, Man with a Machine Gun slaps fiercely, and nobody can tell me otherwise. Um, but as far as, like, area music... I think that uh, takes the cake. Um, it might be obvious, but Final Fantasy VIII is my favorite Final Fantasy. I am very well aware that it's not the best, um, but it is my favorite. It was the first one I was ever uh, exposed to. Back in second grade. But... Um, It is, it is my favorite. The best Final Fantasy, of course, is Chrono Trigger. As far as other favorites, though, um, 
four is probably after eight, and then seven and t the original seven and ten are both pretty up there. Um, I also have the Final Fantasy X music pack, and... Oh, whoops. Oh, bungled that room again. Last night I got the three spawn at least, but... Whatever. Uh, right, hammer. Don't need that. Uh, after this, I'm real silly, and I forgot that Glove and Lamp gives me Dark Mountain Ac- Dark Mountain. Death Mountain access. So, after I leave here, then I'm going to go unlock that. Uh, don't have a mirror. So I can't do a whole lot up there other than get, uh, get the spawn point, but it'll be useful for later. Uh, if this yields nothing, then I'm going to check, um, I'm, uh, gonna go check Agina's cave first. Um, I mean, Zora area technically is in logic, I just don't have the money for it. And without flippers, I can't get the ledge, so... Kinda pointless. But I will go check again this cave just in case. And then beyond that, it's just Death Mountain and Old Man item. Uh, for, well, Front of Escape. Tell you what, I will go get um, the Old Ma the Mountain spawn point, and then I'll do Front of Escape. had a fish dinner. I still remember it to this day. That seems to be the line I usually get, but the farted so bad in this cave that all the Jazz Hands guys ran away and hid in the sand, that is by far the best line in this entire randomizer. So 17 minutes in, and we have hammer, hookshot, fire rod, and red cane. And a glove. That is pretty good. Uh, sword would be nice. Could always uh, use a swingy. But all things considered, this is a really good, really solid start, item-wise. Still can't beat any- well, if I could get to Hera, I could beat it. Now that I have a fire source. I just can't get to Hera right now. Okay. Front of escape it is. Eat. So apparently that um, weird border that was on the left side of the tracker last time isn't there. It may just be that it's only there for the uh, key sanity tracker. 
but I don't know. I prefer doing key sanity because that just opens up more item checks and dungeons and kind of makes you have to look elsewhere. I'm tempted to do a uh, pot randomizer where it can put items in pots. There's also another one called key drop sanity where all enemy drops, so like the enemy drops um, that are specific items can also be things other than that. So for example, that key could potentially like be my fire rod. And then I'd have to find the actual keys for these doors elsewhere. Um, played a couple of those. Um, kind of lengthens the game, it feels like. Um, but it does lead to some very interesting routing. So, <laughs> there is that. And it also makes you like look for keys and pots and dungeons that you might not otherwise think about, like the one in Skull Woods that I like to get. So there's no compass for this dungeon. So I'm looking to get... So there's two items left. There's uh, this one, and then there's the one... You know, kind of behind the shelf a bit. Three, three rooms deep. Uh, well, that that lets me check Zora. So if the uh, other item in here ends up being nothing, then... That'll be my next call. Ah, bottle. Bottle, bottle. Uh, so this kid might have something as well. So let's just do one and then the other. Oh, I'm going all the way over there. Okay, cool. Nothing. Now that I'm thinking about it, besides the Aghanim fight music, the um, Aga Tower uses the music, my what was originally my favorite music from Golden Sun, which is the uh, Venus Lighthouse music. So, um, I don't have to do Aga 1, but I'm going to anyway, because... Hey, I... Just, I love that music, and B, want to share it. Besides, that adds all of, what, like, seven minutes? Considering that these runs for me usually take between one and a half and three hours, that's not a big deal. So just toss in an extra, you know, seven minutes. I'm not worried about it.
Oh, I'm probably going to end up coming back for that. Man, oh man, how I wish I had boots. Oh, I'm silly. Once I got the hook shot, I could totally do all of Death Mountain. Ugh. Smooth brain at it again. And I can go beat Hera as well. Right. Duh. That is the way you go in the dark world, not the light world. Because the fact that this entrance is lower, but is... Above the other one, I think, is why they call this Paradox Cave. Okay, there's the mirror. Ah, dang it. Trying to set up the bomb jump so I don't have to go back outside. I think this is good. I'm going to go ahead and do Spiral Cave just to get it over with.
Ooh, nice slippers. Since I don't, I'm not at all good at the bomb jump to get back from the chest if I were to hook shot over, I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. So there's one more item. Or no, two. So I've got the big key and the compass. So the map is also somewhere in the item pool. So I've got two more items. So, either I beat Moldorm or I die. Eh, I got Red Potion. Um, yeah, I'm gonna whisk my way out of that one. Three hammer swing should do it if I don't miss. Okay. We have another item in the basement. And then I will be going to uh, get that blue mail. Play the waiting game. I nah, I never checked uh, the item inside Spec Rock. This is very silly of me. I've done everything I can do up there for now. Um, flippers. I got Hobo, Waterfall Cave, and then um, go get the blue mail.
Uh, now I have full Dark World access, which is good, but I kind of wish Aghanim had been my uh, required access. But we're still, I'm still going to go fight him anyway. Once I have a sword, and either a second sword or the cape, so I can get through the barrier. Yeah, like, y'all can hear what I mean, I think, when I said, like, this should be reserved for once you have all the crystals. And then just use, like, the original, like, the first map music from Lost Age, but, it, you know, it is what it is. My only real gripe with it. Nice. So where are my other two pendants at? Oh, hell yeah. Turtle Rock is a crystal. Let's go. Uh, pendants in Mire and Pod. Trying to get enough money so I can get uh, pot access and so I can do the mini game in Village of Outcasts. Okay. This is gonna be faster to do this. Uh, I'm gonna go check catfish and then I'm gonna go do the loop, the northern uh, loop. The nice thing about the randomizer is that the uh, devs have added in a way to hookshot across that's not there in the normal game, so that you don't have to go to Kakariko and then go all the way around without uh, Titan Mitt. 
and then go to the village, because that's a pain. And I do have um, reduced flashing on this time, so uh, ether and lightning won't uh, potentially cause seizures. I apologize again for for getting that last time. I really need to go to the other video and put in a flashing lights warning in the description as well. would be the courteous thing to do. Also, if, if I'm a little bit quiet, I apologize. I really didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so... Lightly zoning in and out. That spot is not there in the normal game. But it is in the randomizer. That boots or mitts I can't get through there to check that item, so that's unfortunate. What is the stun drop? $20. I like that. Nice. That's a really good find. Did beat Eve's Town or not?
We've got decent health. I can technically beat blind with the uh, the red cane, which is kind of funny. Um, I remember uh, Andy made the remark at a GDQ event once, or maybe it was Patty, about um, the irony of beating blind with a cane. Uh, Thief's Time is one of my crystals. Gull Woods, I can do after that, so. That's the plan for now. I don't end up killing with the, the uh, cane. I'll just use the hammer. I have a feeling I'm going to be very bad at that, though. Ah. Uh.
That was easy. I need more caffeine. And a caffeinated diet soda here. Diet pop. Call it whatever you will. I still don't have a sword. So, you know, that's neat. Uh, to be fair, don't really need one at this point. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. I got stuck in this dungeon as a kid. Not the dun not Skull Woods, but the uh Gabamba statue in Lost Age. It's such a struggle. This dungeon was such a struggle bus for me. And then I revisit it again when I'm like an older teenager in my twenty early twenties. I don't remember. Also, if you knock enemies into spikes, it does extra damage to them. With the exception of frickin' moth, it's for whatever reason moth doesn't take damage from spikes. So. I take damage from spikes. Yeah, beating Moth with just Hammer is kind of a pain. So, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I can either Fire Rod these guys, or I can do that. If I don't kill anything, the Wallmaster doesn't spawn in this room. So I can just make it really easy on myself. Yo, sword at 5425. Uh, what am I doing? I can just do this. Um, but this this is the one I was talking about earlier when I was talking about key drop sanity, where like that pot. A lot of people don't know that that has a key in it. So that's where having that knowledge. And then there's another category, which I might have mentioned, that randomizes all of the pots in the game. <laughs> and that's a real trip. Doing this for the magic drops. Oh, whoops. That's the trick, is not setting that off. Oh, 
Hmm, I'll take that. Actually, that's a really good point. I could not have beaten this dungeon unless I found that sword, because... Much like in uh, Aghanim's room, you have to cut a curtain. Then with the keys, I can just skip that room. And I don't like this health going into Moth, but it is what it is. There we go. Oof. Hate that. But that's one more dungeon down, one more crystal obtained. We're at three of seven. I need to do Dark World first. That lets me beat desert. Which I shall do after checking me. Well, that actually works really well. Unless, <laughs> I can do desert if the big key isn't boots locked, or the small key. And I mean, fair, if the small key might, might not uh, lock the big key like it does in the normal game, but there is that possibility.
So what we are hoping for is no whammies. If you've ever seen the game show Press Your Luck, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, give it a watch. It's... It's something. Actually, I'm gonna get Bombo's tablet while I'm here. Oh, I need a magic uh, master sword first, duh. Uh, well, that's where half magic is, so that's nice to know. Okay, there's the small key. I'm hoping to see either the map or compass here. Brick. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. I'm guessing vanilla big key. Yeah. So if the big chest is an item, that just means that the boss is also an item, or the boss is also um, either map or compass. Actually, I think this can only be map or compass. No, because I got small key, so there's... Oh yeah, no, this is um, going to be either map or compass, because... This is another six check dungeon. No, oh, there's only two items, so there's that, the flute, and then there's the uh, art piece that I got. That's unfortunate. Sure hope this is the boots. Once I find the boots, I'm immediately heading back there, because Meyer area might have something. I know Meyer is a pendant, but you never know. A pedestal could also have something. Frick, I should go check that.
Oh, it's fairy. Fairy in a bottle. Um, as much as I hate to say it, Turtle Rock in its in entirety? I think Turtle Rock in its entirety is open. And I don't like that. Uh, oh, Swamp Palace is also open. Um, I'm gonna do Swamp before I do Turtle Rock, because um, doing that with Fighter Sword would be absolutely awful. Ice is also open. I can do Icebreaker, but... I don't, don't want to do Ice. I would rather start with Swamp and go from there. Because I'm going to have to do Swamp one way or the other, so I might as well just do it now, right? Plus... Again, really good music in this dungeon. Ooh, I can also do Diver Down. I can do Diver Down shenanigans if I remember the inputs. But there's ways with the Red King where you can mess with the, um... Yeah, you can clip through rails and stuff. There are two places I can think of where it's worth doing that. Um, one of them is a little bit problematic because if I don't get it before my magic runs out, then I it's it's not a soft lock just because I can always just leave and come back. But it involves basically taking this key, doing the water thing, and then doing the red cane block clipping shenanigans to get that key later 
by ending up on the ground in a spot where you're not supposed to be because the water has been raised. Travel's interesting. I'm gonna do it anyway, it just... It's not that difficult, I just have to remember how to do it. So it'll in involve a way to get that key in that pot down there. I say as I nod like y'all can see me. Easy. I'll, I'll explain the trick when I do it to get to, um, when I do it to kind of skip ahead in the next, uh, back area of the dungeon. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Right, do that, and then I hold right, and it just sends me back downstairs. I think that's as a consequence of the block clipping junk that I did. And then putting back the crystal switch lets me just hook shot across. Okay, so cape lets me get into Aga Tower. Um, so that's what we'll be doing next. <laughs> so big key could be big key locked if it's in the big chest or it's just farther back. I don't particularly care which at this point. I I'm gonna say I don't have the big key, do I? No. I don't even have the compass or the thingy yet. So normally you gotta push a statue, go left, um, and go through that door to be able to lower the water. Um, block clip shenanigans means you don't have to do that. Um, okay. So you go up, line yourself up with the bottom of this thing. Um, place a block uh, there-ish. Go in the water. Oh, that's not gonna work. Place a block there-ish. Go in the water. Hold down right. Uh, it's not far enough over. Press down right and then transition to right during the... Transition to right during the splash. Press the wrong button. Uh, 
then once so you have to hold down and right and then transition to just holding right during the splash if you do it right you kind of jump out the that way that you saw and then you hold your sword out and then hit right right and left at the same time and it puts you through the um puts you through the thing so you can get the thing So if boss has the compass, then that means the big chest has an item. If the boss has something other than the compass, it means that the compass is in the big chest and we don't have to go back for it. Now I do have a sword, so I could, you know, just hook shot the blobs and do uh, spin, spin attacks, but that would take longer, I think, than just going into the menu and selecting the hammer, so that's just what I'm going to do. Easy. Tedious, but easy. Okay, perfect. So I don't have to go back for the compass for, for the big chest. And then after this, we'll go check out Ice Palace. We could also go phys visit Finnish Desert. Um, we should probably do that. But, we'll see. I think that's what I should do. But I really want to find boots first, so I can just get the loot while I'm there and just not have to go back. So I think I will do ice after this. No, no Master Sword needed, just the cape. And freaking banger tunes here. I'm actually going to stay quiet for the rest of this so y'all can just listen to the music.
Not bad, that was only about three blue balls. Uh, also, that hiccup in the ball and chain soldier room is because I had actually muted my microphone and... didn't uh, want it to, you know. So. That being said, I'm gonna go to Ice Palace now. Uh, I sh I'm gonna grab a green potion first. Actually, I'm gonna grab a green and a blue just to be safe. At this point, it's just faster to save, quit, and then walk from home. I also noticed during that fight that when the Squall Sprite is holding the sword and looking down, it doesn't really look like he's holding it. He's just kind of... Arm is still at the side, and I don't know if that's true with the regular Link Sprite or not. I will have to check that out. If uh, the boots aren't in here, or um, what other item could I possibly need? Uh, one of the medallions, I suppose. But if nothing like that's in here, I'm going to just go ahead and... Excuse me. Guess that... Odd is going to have what I need, or potentially um, Dark Death Mountain. Okay. Darn.
Well, that means the big key should be here. Yep. Go back, check the big chest, and fight Cold Stare. At the very least, because this is the green pendant, we at least get an item out of it. Never remember which way that thing goes when it's coming up toward you. Right, so I'll have to use Bombos. Um, this fight's really gonna suck because Fighter Sword does like nothing against Cold Stare. actually going to use that green potion and just speed this way up. Very good, very good. Palace of Darkness it is, and another really good bit of soundtrack in uh, Gaia Rock. And on the way, we can check uh, Shalar Shalar. This actual name, for those who might not know, is Sahasrala, but people just... Name him other things that kind of sound similar. Because it's fun. Like, there's zero reason not to. Like Shalar Shalar or Sassafras. Or Shwarma. Shwarma Hash, I don't know. Not worth it. Although, if, um... Progression is at Magic Bat, that's something to consider. Without a bow, I can't do anything more in Eastern, and I can't do a lot in Pod. I can do most of Pod, but without a bow, I can't beat it. And I also have uh, double checks, so if Pod yields nothing, or if Pod yields a way to clear it, then, I mean, either way, once I'm done in here, I'm going to go and check the shovel item and the magic bat. I still need to go finish Desert. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Good old Kiki. 
mate of mine, actually. Uh, my prime mate. Uh, I just lost everybody who was still watching. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't check anything else in here. I can check one more thing. And I really have to hope this is a key, and it is. So I can either check the vanilla big key, or I can go through the thing, which lets me get three checks. Which then should get me another small key. At least one other small key. So that is what I shall do. It juked. Okay, so we found both the compass and the map. So find the big key and we're set. Uh, but another small key would be nice. Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, there's 14 checks, six small keys, big, and then the three usual suspects. So I'm going to guess... It's five items. I think I've gotten two at this point. I don't know if that's item number three or item number four. If this is not the big key, then okay. Ah, uh, finish desert. That's what I'm gonna gotta do. I would really like a sword upgrade. I also didn't check K. Oh no, I did check K45, which is that cave. Um, I did check that earlier. Why? Why am I going that way? That's. Uh, oh right, I said I was gonna do shovel check, and um, da 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 ma magic bat. So I think subconsciously that's what I was doing. <laughs> I hope. Shovel has been checked. And then from here it'll be desert. 
Because for all I know, land molas have my, uh... What you call it? My boots. Or boots could be in Spike Cave. Boots could be... Turtle Rock. <laughs> I really don't want to have to go back up there. Oh, a bow. Uh, I can finish Eastern now, too. And go back to Pod. So, after I finish Desert, that'll be my... Next order of business. Uh, I'm already committed to walking, so I'll just walk there. May not end up going for half magic, but I'll have to stock up on potions then for Ganon in case I miss the, the glitch. Um, so that the last phase of the fight where he turns out the, the torches, if you light the first one before the second one goes out, then the only one torch goes out, which means you use half the magic uh, to relight them since you're only relighting one. There. I don't like that I don't have boots yet. And it's possible that I don't ever get boots. Because imagine they're in mire. Right? And that would just completely lock boots to where I can't get them. Although, if I didn't check the big chest, I'm just gonna do it anyway, because... For completion. Because for completion. Do I even English? I think I've worked out that these are both... Oh, no, I've already worked out that those are both uh, compass and or map, so... Because I got a piece of heart and then the flute, so... Land Molas doesn't have anything useful. Maybe this time I'll get the Eastern Quick Kill right. Easy game, easy life.
just for the sake of curiosity. That's nice. See if I can unlock Turtle Rock or not. We still have Hookshot Cave, and I'm just gonna go do um, Spike Cave while we're here. You know, get shredded by the Lionels on the way. There's my Master Sword. So I can go get uh, half magic, which is nice. Boink. Ooh, uh, I can also get um. What's it called? Because I can just use the blue potion to get out of here and go buy more later. Uh, but I can also check the ether tablet. Progression be in that chest before, it's really annoying. hoping I could get away with not using it. Um, but I'm not going to worry about half magic right away. I'm going to go get um, Eastern and Pod finish first. Or the opposite order, but, you know, same thing. Pod and then Eastern, because Pod just has more checks. More potion money.
Again, I know that Pot is a pendant, but it could have something deeper in. Big key is vanilla. Nice. Not vanilla ice. Vanilla, comma, nice. Ether is going to be here somewhere ish. Alternatively, uh, Big Key could be in the hallway chest south of the compass chest. That's it's it's just straight up vanilla. Smooth. There's my boots, yay. Not knowing my luck, I'm gonna have to go into Mire to get Ether, so I can enter Turtle Rock and thus beat the game. Uh, so I think that can only be a small key. Instead of wasting a small key. Hmm. 
I know there's probably a setup for that, but I'm just not good at that sort of thing. I, I'm also just very out of practice compared to what I used to be. Elmasaur time! Sorry for my cree chair. Might as well be my back. I'm only 31 and my back already makes some... Not just my back, but my joints in general sometimes make very concerning noises. A couple of boots checks I can make. King's Tomb and Bonk Rocks next to the Sanctuary are in play. God dang it. I promise I used to know how to do that. Bonk Rocks, King's Tomb, I already know that Library is just Red Boomerang, which I don't need. And then, obviously, get Flute, activate Flute. Go to Meyer area. Get, um, what's it called? Uh, Half Magic. Fire the second arrow, really? Okay. I don't know 
know why, this quick kill always just makes me so nervous. Well, I goofed, I goofed it. Killed the wrong Armos, but that was quick enough. Yeah, the instant we find- oh, I say the instant. I really would like to find another sword. Because that makes Ganon a lot easier, especially if I'm not finding silvers. Because if I have to do a silverless Ganon fight, then I absolutely want to be doing that with at least Tempered Sword, if not the Gold Sword. Also, what am I doing? I need to go Dark World first, and then do that so I can get my frickin' thing done. And get my, my thingy done with the doohickey and the humdinger. I could go get the red shield, but what's the point? <laughs> Mirror Shield's not going to do much for me, except in TR. Um, do I full clear Turtle Rock, or do I just beeline it to the boss once I find all the keys? I'm probably going to full clear it just to see if there's, uh, you know, sword upgrades, any quality of life. Ooh, I can also hit up, hit up a bomb shop. See if uh, Pyramid Fairy's got anything good. See if I can get some free potions without having to spend money. I will say, another thing that I really like about this is that I can auto-track, whereas... For, um... Fusion Rando, I have to manually track, which is fine. But, I don't know, there are just times where I wish it would, uh, I could auto-track with it. Go activate Flute. Check Pyramid Fairy. Get potions. And then do my area. Check the uh, boots checks while I'm over here. Uh, you know what? I'll go get the shield anyway, just because there might be some of you who maybe haven't watched the vanilla game or haven't seen it in a while and uh, don't remember the, uh, the tree trunk. Also, instead of bonking into that, you can just do that. Hold your sword sideways and then... At dash and move sideways into it. Check bonk rocks, get the shield, just because I would mirror shield would be nice. I just like the the way it looks. I guess some randomizer runners don't like it because it causes more lag, but I don't care. Love how you can do a spin speed out of there. Uh, go activate the flute, check Pyramid Fairy, and then go to Mire. And right, uh, that item wasn't anything. 
And we. Yeah, I know I had mentioned I was going to see what the Pyramid Fairy uh, bottle drop was, or the bottle fill was, but eh. Cool. Ooh, vanilla silvers and vanilla sword upgrade. I like that. Let's try this first. There's no guarantee that Bombos gets me in here, however, there are three items, uh, what is it? It is Bombos, so, neat. But um, really, as soon as I find Aether, I'm set to go do Turtle Rock and then beat the game. Again, ideally would like to find the gold sword, but if I don't find the gold sword, it's not the end of the world. Um... That could be potentially a thing, so let's do that real quick. With the flute, that is but a minor detour. Yeah, 
Yo! We don't have to go into mire at all. That's fine by me. Turtle Rock has the... one of the best dungeon musics in this music pack. Magma Rock is another straight-up banger. Uh, the composer, if any of this music sounds potentially familiar, I believe is uh, Sakuraba. Motoi, uh, Sakuraba Motoi. Um, legendary composer. Up there with uh, Koji Kondo and um, Nobuo Uematsu. Who just celebrated a birthday recently, so that's neat. First room in the game.
Now there's a cane dash I can do in here, but I've never gotten it before, so we'll see. All right, let's go do GT, see how many of those chests I have to go through, and... Because the big key can take anywhere from... I think it's 
Zero to twenty one to twenty two checks. It's twenty something, I know that. Because there's twenty seven items in GT. And then no, there's one, two, three, four upstairs. So I think it's out of twenty three. Yeah, I think there's one, two, three, four. So yeah, I think it's anywhere from one to twenty-three chests it'll take. Also, Mars Lighthouse, another amazing track. Two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen. Thank you. 
14, 15. I really hope my counting on that was correct, because that would be embarrassing. If it was not. I hate Stalfos. Dun, 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 dun. I hate Stalfos. Not for those Bemos statues, this would also be a lot easier. Uh, although sometimes you get nice damage boosts like that. And because Silver Arrows are laggy as all get out, I'll just go back to the old Parade method. Yo, that's pretty cool. I didn't even think I got all three on the first one. Let's see if I can get this this time. Yeah, that was close. I might, I might also argue that this is the worst room in the game. Uh, more good boss music, so I shall be quiet.
Two, three, four, thirty-seven. Again, I had to stop it late because of the emulator, but hey. As front loaded as that was, I'm surprised I'm kinda surprised it took so long. But I also did a couple of optional things, so. Hmm. Good stuff. I wish that the ending credits for the second game, which was what was just playing, played through the whole thing, but it doesn't. Um, I wonder if some of y'all have already clicked off because you thought I was done. Um, but no, I was just being quiet because I love that music. It gives me chills every time. <laughs> Rooms for bulk coin. So, um, that's going to do it for this. Um... I am either going to do Final Fantasy 4 or um, Final Fantasy 10 MSU pack next. Um, let me know whether, which you'd rather see in the comments. Um, I will probably ask this question in my uh, Fusion Rando or potentially after the speedrun if I do that uh, Wednesday. But... Um, Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope everybody who's been watching and everybody else has a good day, good evening, good whatever time it might be. Uh, if you have been, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you.